63rd year of the NHS, if we remember that the importance of trying to fight the same for the, NH the NHS. I know what Bevan said way back in uh, 1948 when the NHS was founded, and as Karen has said, at a time when the deficit was much higher, we'd just come through a Second World War and we created the welfare state and we created the model for modern health care in this country. And I know what Bevan said, it would always be a fight to retain the health service because philosophically the Tories do not support health, a, a free health service, a comprehensive health service in this country. And the NHS bill, which is making its way through Parliament, uh, will dec decimate healthcare by causing fragmentation, competition, and privatisation. And we must get this bill defeated. And really, today's message, and the message we want the media to pick up, and we want the media to pick up what people are saying about the health service. We don't want them to focus on sideshows. The issue is clear that the people in this country believe in and respect the National Health Service. They don't want it destroyed. They don't want the privateers to cherry pick. They want universal health care for all. And if his bill goes through, that will change significantly. And let us not forget that it was our parents and our parents' parents who saw the need for proper free health care, for comprehensive health care for the future. And that's why the health service was created. And it was created because private companies and charities and benevolent trusts couldn't deliver universal health care. That's why we needed the National Health Service. And the big society of charities and entrepreneurs won't deliver health care in the future. And if we want to attain a complete free health service, then we must make sure that Andrew Lansley listens. And the government is worried because they paused when they saw the pressure from doctors, from nurses, from the communities up and down the country, the trade unions, and they said they were listening. But they paused to try and take the steam out of the campaign. We want the steam to be uh, go back into the campaign because as the bill makes its way through Parliament, it could still go through. And the amendments are a sham. If the bill goes through, there will be competition, there will be privatisation, and there will be a removal of free comprehensive health care throughout the nation. And there will be a tax on employees in the National Health Service on their terms and conditions as we try to control a £20 million cut over the next four years. So the message has got to be clear. It's got to be clear to Lansley, it's got to be clear to the communities, it's got to be clear to the staff that work in the health service that we want our health service retained, that we do not trust them with the National Health Service, and that this bill that is currently going through Parliament must be defeated. So let us all stand up for the National Health Service, because we've got to hand on to our children, and our children's children. We're only custodians of the health service, and I don't want to hand on to my children a deficit which means that they have to pay £9,000 to go to university yeah. and have a lifetime debt, as well as having to pay for health care. I want them to have a free health care that I enjoyed, as well as they should have a free education. So let's stand up for public service, let's stand up for the NHS. Thank you.